Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see another example on pick and previous function. So the data I'm going to use for this application is shown in the Excel file. We have purchase and sale records of different products by date. Right now, I have only considered three products, laptop, tablet and TV. So the starting balance as of 1st of June 2022 for all the three products is 200. And now each day, we have purchase and sale records. So if we consider for laptop, so let me color this laptop one like this and whatever we have for the laptop, I will also consider the same color. So say for the laptop, the initial total balance main stock is stock was 200 rupees and on the second 31 piece more purchase and 9 sold. So that means the new stock at the end of 2nd of June is 200 plus 31 minus 9 means 222. On the third the balance should be the previous day balance means 222 plus 39 minus 50 means 211 or you can say 200 plus 31 plus 39 minus 9 minus 50 means 211. That's how we want to find out the stock of each product by end of the day. So means our end of day stock is dependent on previous day stock plus same day purchase plus same day sales. How we can get this output? We will see by click. So first of all, I will load sales table here and I will say here and this is my and this is the data I am going to load product date purchase and sold and now I will load this one and at the front end I will create one sheet with all these four row inside a table. So I will say product, date, purchase and sold. I will also add here temporary for understanding how the data is getting loaded. So I say row number is ID and I will save this one and then I will load this and I will add my ID here and I will sort my data by ID. So this is how the actual source data means this is the order of source, source data. So now first thing I have to do here is I have to find out everyday balance. So what I can do here is I cannot directly do order by here because as I have already mentioned that you cannot use order by during the load statement because order by is only used for the already loaded table. So to do that I have to first thing I have to do here is sales 2 and I will say load star resident of my sales table and I will do order by product and date because now I have to consider each product differently and then date of that product and here I will drop my table sales and instead of getting id here what i will do i will get id here and now when i will load it we will get the proper formatting so now you can see all the laptop is getting loaded first and then it's a date of that laptop then tablet and the date and then tv and date here we want to get the stock so to get the stock first thing is we have to do purchase minus sold. So I will do here. So we will add here purchased 
minus sold as stock and when I load this one and we add the stock here we will get bell we will get the stock excluding the previous days end of day stock so here we are getting 31 minus 922 39 minus 50 means minus 11 but we also need to consider this 200 and previous day stock again i will use some if statement here i will say when i will say here if product equal to not equal to previous product then I will say then 1 or 0 as flag flag and now I will add this flag here that means you can see whenever the product is changed we will get 1 here means every first line of the product we are getting 1 so whenever it's a first line of product we have to use purchase minus sold as your stock so instead of one i will mention here purchase minus sold as my stock so i will say stock new i will load this and stock new you can see we are getting null here because sold is null here so whenever you are doing any mathematical calculation with null value it will be always null so uh, 200 minus null equal to null 200 plus null equal to null so instead of this we have to use range sum function here so range sum function will replace all null value with zero so range sum will do addition of purchase quantity and sold quantity we don't want to do addition we have to, we don't want to do purchase minus sold so i will make sold as minus and then i will load it and we will get something like this so now for all the lines means for all the product if it is not the first line then so for now for all the product we need to consider as previous day stock plus purchase minus sold so how we can do this so here zero means the product is repeating means in that in those cases where we have zero flag so we need to consider this previous day stock so previous day stock is this and we have to do plus purchase minus sold so once i load this we will get the desired output but it could be possible that you might have purchase or sold one of them will be null so to handle that we again use rent sum here previous day end of stock plus purchase and minus sold and when i will load this i will get the same output so instead of stock new i can say end of day stock and when I do end of this stock, I have to also update this one and we will get the desired output. So if we match with this Excel, we will get the same output as per our requirement. So hope you now understand where to use peak and where to use previous. Previous is referring to the input data of the table while peak function is referring to the output table data so this end of day stock field is getting created during this load so here if you want to refer end of day stock you have to compulsory use peak function but previous function you can only use when the field is already inside the input data so here product is inside the input data we can use using the previous function but end of day stock field is a part of output data we have to use peak function here hope this example will help you to understand the difference between peak and previous function and 
you have a clear idea where to use peak function and where to use previous function. Thanks and have a great day.